Yo, what's going on, sexy Sam? Let us go today. We are doing a ranked 1v1. Uh, as you can tell, I'm a little bit low energy right now, so I apologize in advance Juice. about my, uh, <laughs> how I might, how I might sound, like, ridiculously depressed. I swear to God, I'm not. I'm just tired, um, which I, you know, I'm sure people can relate to. Um, so, I picked Zeus because I haven't played Zeus in a while and I want to play Zeus with the Lifesteal build because I think it'll be funny. Lifesteal pen build will be funny. If I'm going Lifesteal build, I probably don't need Bracer. I'm gonna just go Aegis for when his ult hits me because Sun Wukong's ult, if I remember correctly, that shit smacks, so. Well, that's good. It's also very, 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 very hot. <laughs> but that's alright. Oh man, I feel my tongue burning. I'm not gonna use my mana to detonate this. I wanna save my mana for my blue buff. It's taking him a while to clear. Actually surprised he didn't go for my blue. Damn, Warrior's Runic start. It's gonna be a tanky boy to get through. Nice. Got the gold. Um I'm assuming he's just doing his blue buff. I'm not, I'm not gonna annoy him. I'm gonna just let him be, because I'm pretty sure he can kill me really easily right now. The early game is definitely his, so. I'm just play it passive, you know? Play it passive. Ooh, but that is tempting. That low of HP. He's going to go ahead and back. And I was able to steal his things, too. Even better. But yeah, I ideally do not want to fight this, because I'm pretty sure... For the first, maybe, ten minutes... I think he'll win the fight. Actually, maybe not right now, because I do have uh, Bancroft's finished, and he shouldn't have Runic, uh, Runic finished yet, so... If he does come to lane without Runic finished and his 3 is down, I will try to all in him. Will it work? Debatable. Depends on a lot of things. Um, this thing is definitely not finished, his Runic shield, so that's ideal. Okay, we got him. He waited way too long to ult that. Maybe he thought that my damage wasn't going to be that high. Which is fair, honestly, because he does have tier 2 defense and warlocks at, or warlocks, uh, warlocks, stupid, warrior's blessing, sorry. So, it is fair to assume my damage is going to be minuscule, but, um... Not that much, so, you know, you still got to be careful. Like that, walking up to me there, that's risky. I think it doesn't matter for him right now, because he's not taking the fight. He's just um, getting enough gold to back and get Runic Shield. I actually will pop these, because I don't know if he backed. And if he didn't, I want to have money, mana to fight, but... Oh, he didn't back. I can't get him though. I thought maybe he'd be slightly more aggressive. It's alright though. I got enough for my cooldown boots, so. I will have enough for my alt soon as well. That really does no damage because he's building no damage. So we're in the clear right now. 
Everything's looking mighty fine. Oh god. My bolts will strike with great fury. Um This down. Red will be up soon. There's not really much I can do here besides like just farm up and get my lifesteal items online. I really don't do that much damage. The runic shield is a uh, pain in the butt. Um, I believe he's going to his speed buff. Yeah, nothing I can do about it. That's alright though, because I think what's going to happen is more than likely late game he stands no chance. He has no mana, so I'm all inning here. Hmm. Slightly too tanky for me, unfortunately. Slightly too tanky. But he had no mana, so I thought maybe, you know, if there was ever a time to attempt an all-in, it was then. We did get his bracer, though, so I can't be mad. It did work out. I'm not going to back yet. I don't think he can kill me. He has no damage, so. No need for me to back. We'll juke that. You really don't do damage. Okay. Oh man, that ult does a lot more damage than I thought. I gotta keep in mind that they buffed the ult a lot. The ult hits a lot harder than it used to. Because right now, literally speaking, he's got like 40 power. 45 power, sorry. And his ult did 211 in damage. Um, <laughs> sorry, there's someone talking to me. I, I'm going to play a game with them. There's someone talking to me uh, in Discord. Or not in Discord, in, uh, in my Twitch chat. And he's looking for my Discord. I just met him. He was playing some Black Ops 3 Zombies. I asked if he would... Helped me learn the maps and he was happy enough to oblige, or nice enough to oblige, so. Um. Am I scared of this fight? You have no... Uh, I mean, I don't know. You have all. Why are you fighting this? Huh. I thought he had all. That's why he was fighting it. Because if he had all, I mean, I was gonna take that fight regardless because I was just gonna try to Aegis his alt landing. Um. But he ended up not even having alt, which was a little weird. Let's go get our Typhons. Typhons is gonna give us ten percent life steal. Or, sorry, 10% pen, as well as increasing my lifesteal, which is nice. I have not... I have not upgraded my Relic Shard yet. I don't know really what to get. By the way, I don't know if I said this, but if this video does get 1.5k likes, just like the others, I will upload a second video today, and of course the second video is always better than the first, so... Um... Make sure that you guys hit that like goal. Scary. Oh no, that's bad. That's really bad. I could die here. I just want to fight. Alright. I could have died there pretty easy though. I'm assuming he's going beat stick here. Oh, he's dead. He has to ult. Oh, I comboed the tick damage with my three. 
the the tick damage on my three with my um or sorry the tick damage on my alt with the detonation of my three to combo out 500 damage where he actually just died before his alt went off that was nice right, so we're just gonna take this tower and keep pushing afk push you know just use things oh this is bad for me this is very bad for me I'm just gonna auto attack for a while cause I'm gonna Aegis I Aegis that because I got out of range I, I was out of range far enough to where even if my Aegis didn't um even if my Aegis was like a little bit mistimed I knew that in order for him to do damage to me with his ultimate, he had to have ulted then. Like, he had to have clicked the ult then, so. Thank you. He did get beat stick. Alright, give me a second, give me a second. He's not doing red buff. Hmm. I think he's just farming right now. I'm not sure if he knows that I win late game. Or if he feels like that's maybe his only option is just to farm up right now. I should have picked up that other blue. I don't know what I'm doing. Like I said, I'm a little out of it right now. So forgive any idiotic misplays I may or may not make. Right, let's go get the next lifesteal item, which will be Pythags, I think. And I will go Thorns, too. Thorns isn't the best play for me, just in the sense that he has magical defense and Thorns is magical damage. So it is slightly reduced, and I always do say don't build Thorns if you're a mage, because they're going to have magical defense anyways, but... Um, right here, I actually think it's okay because the fights have to be fast. Because because of my build, my lifesteal build, like, he can't win a sustained fight. He has to fight burst damage so I think it's alright here. Alright, he's going to go mess with that, I guess. And I'm just going to full commit to this bull demon, which should go down pretty fast. If he does come over here, I think I just ult it. Alright, oh god. He's not going to commit to that fight. Mm, don't like that at all. Oh, how low is he? Wasn't that low. Um, I do believe he bracered there. He hit him. Yeah, see, he hit himself for eighty-one damage. So even here, Thorns isn't the best play. He just cool down. Get the life steal. The life steal. I want more pen. Believe it or not. So I am going to actually go into Soul Reaver here. I, I was thinking maybe when I was moving that way that he would try to fight me. But I didn't know if he would actually commit because he just kind of poked me before. I th so I thought maybe like he doesn't know he would win the fight. That's why he didn't commit but he, he knew. He knew what he was doing. I mean, with the stank, dude. I need breastplate as well. Mm. None of this 
do this, I guess. Nothing really up, you know. Like, there's some buffs and stuff, but nothing game-changing. I took his speed, he takes mine, it's whatever. Yep, we're just, we're just farming. It's fine by me, I'm cool with it. I don't think there's a world where he backdoors me, is there? I actually do want Breastplate. I might sell this for Breastplate, believe it or not. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, he's going hella defense. Oh my god, it's 224 right now. I have 30% pen with my build right now, which is basically max. Max percent pen is 40%, so... Having 30% pen is pretty good. Both use thorns. I actually won that fight, I think, because his thorns is way more important than mine. His thorns is like his thorns is huge compared to me because mine is like, eh, it's all right. You know, it did 81 damage last fight, so whatever. But his did like, how much did his do? Yeah, his did 400 almost, so. It's definitely a win for me, trading out thorns. He's getting super tanky though, and it's slightly scary. Alright, this two is down. Should try to... I mean, that did good damage actually. I was gonna say that was terrible, but... It wasn't terrible. Does he want to fight me? I think he does. Mm. He doesn't. He's very good at realizing when to back away. Does he have alt up? I think I think he does still have alt up. Which means I shouldn't fight this. I think I underestimated his late game. Pretty significantly, actually. His late game seems not nearly as bad as I thought it was. Especially when he has 300 magical protection. 240, I guess, whatever. But maybe it's just because I don't have cooldown right now. Level 20 is going to help a lot as well. And then, uh, so after this wave, I'll get level 20 and I'll get my breastplate. And that'll be full build. Um, he really doesn't have that much power. Oh, I mean, 176 is nothing to scoff at, actually. Um, so we'll see. I'm getting, like, micro stutters. Really annoying, actually. He's probably just gonna like ox form through me. Expected. Does he win this? does. So tanky. I think that breastplate would have won me that fight there. Um, breastplate plus this, and then 
So what really happened that fight? Thorns did 600 to me. That's what happened. Thorns did uh, 35 to Archer minions. So I basically don't have a second relic, and he has one that's winning in the game. Um, how do I turn this around? I get 10% more pen, so I actually have capped out pen, which would be really important. I guess Spear of Deso would be okay. Warlock Staff. Staff of Murden, even. Imagine if I could use my one twice on my... On my Aegis, if it was down. I'd throw my Aegis down, and then I alt, and then I 1-1 one, one my Aegis. It'd be pretty strong. Okay. I think this is definitely a position where he backdoors Phoenix. It's not really backdooring, is it? Okay. I'm kind of beating his ass here. It's pretty, pretty crazy. I went from 10% cooldown to nearly, or to actually max. Hmm. Yeah, that Thorns did 800 damage. I lose Phoenix here. Man, it's just that Thorns, man. That Thorns is so intense. I need Aegis for these fights and I'm not getting it. Um, I don't know if I'll last long enough, but in the off chance that I do, I need speed. Because I need to be able to sell boots for that last bit of, of penetration. Um, This shouldn't be too bad. He shouldn't be able to do too much damage here. Your Titan is under attack. Yeah. Not too much damage. I'll actually pick this up. I uh, severely underestimated Wukong's late game. And that's completely my fault. I, I honest to god didn't know. Um, but I do want that Spear of Deso, I think. I don't know if Staff of Murden is going to be enough. Power. Like, I know, I know it has a lot of power, but like, I don't need to use a second ability. I think just a Spear of Deso is better with 10% on it. How much is this? 1200? I wonder... I mean, other than... I guess I wonder if Divine Ruin is good enough to hold up here, but I really don't think it is. He's doing my blue. Or bold even. Either way, I don't care. I just care about not dying here. I think if I can get this ten percent, this last ten percent cooldown up, combined with a hundred power, we should be pretty good. I figured as much. I'm having a lot of like micro stutters in the game right now, which is really weird because it's not my computer and my FPS is looking fine. So I don't know. A little odd, but whatever. I'm just gonna run. I don't want to take that fight. I just didn't want to die, so My will you know. <laughs> great fury. Okay. 
is under attack. I think he's trying to be really hyper aggressive, but it's not really working for him, so. That's really good, because now we get this. And I have my alt up again, so I will try to stop him from doing this. Alright. I actually stopped him. Very nice. This is a much more methodical game than normal. Because this game is actually pretty difficult right now. Throw a red buff, huh? I have everything up. <laughs> Ideally, I would like to proc that Ansile before the fight because I hate that shit. I was able to juke his uh, his second stun after his ult, and that was pretty much just going to cost him the game because I still had minions up and he didn't. Wow, really intense game actually. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time guys, peace.